Okay, so now we are um, on the bottom of page 55 and onto page 56. So I'm just going to write that over here We're on page. Oops, I got to get my pen going on here. All right, so page 55. All right, so what is an AMU? So AMU stands for Atomic Mass Unit. And it is a unit of mass that's equal to one twelfth the mass of a carbon atom. All right, so one twelfth the mass of a carbon twelve atom, which we're going to list as C twelve. And this is basically a standard that we use to compare all other elements to. Right, so it's called the atomic mass unit. So the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom of that element. So the atomic number is found in the lower left corner of an element box on your reference tables. So let's look up the following atomic numbers. So the atomic number is also equal to the number of protons or the number of positive charge, or we can call this the nuclear charge. So the atomic number is gonna tell you a lot of very useful information. So the atomic number for hydrogen is one, so that means that the number of protons is one, so that means the nuclear charge is also positive one. Because remember, the nucleus is positive from our Rutherford's gold foil experiment. So now we have sodium, the atomic number symbols, Na, because it comes from its Latin, natrium. And so here we have the atomic number is 11. So the number of protons is 11. And it has a positive 11 nuclear charge. So now we have gold, and I like to say, AU, give me your gold. Um, again, coming from its Latin, so that's why it's not a G. And the atomic number is 79, so number 79 on the periodic table. So that means it has 79 protons. That means it has a nuclear charge of positive 79. There's 79 positive charges in the nucleus. Remember, there's neutrons in the nucleus, but there's no charge of a neutron. So our mass number is our atomic mass rounded to a whole number. So on your periodic table, you have decimal numbers, which we'll get into more later but the mass number is rounded to a nearest whole number. And the mass number is the sum, right? The sum of the protons plus the neutrons, right? Because that makes up the mass of the atom. Because remember, the electrons have no charge. So how do we figure out the neutrons? So the neutrons is going to be our mass number minus the atomic number, right? Because the atomic number plus the neutrons adds up to the mass. So if I have the mass and the atomic number, I subtract to get the number of neutrons. So let's look at gold. So the gold, the mass number, so the rounded atomic mass in the periodic table is 197. So then I subtract the atomic number, and that equals 118 neutrons for gold. So if I have lead, Pb, the atomic number is 82. So the neutrons plus 82 add up to the mass, which is 207 from the periodic table. So when I subtract those two numbers, I can have them, I get the neutrons, 125. Now let's take a look at uranium, atomic number 92, mass of 238 from the periodic table. So subtracting those two numbers gives us 146 neutrons, right? Because the neutrons plus the protons, right, or the neutrons plus the atomic number is equal to the mass. 